Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to do our first simple exercise. Uh, it's a, a simple chair and a simple table. We are going to model it. Uh, we are going to uh, clone the chairs around the table. This is of course a very simple shape, uh, but it will be a good exercise to warm up the upcoming uh, more uh, difficult uh, examples. Okay. Uh, let's start with a box. Uh, I'm going to create this box uh, with the dimensions 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, and then 3 centimeters for the height. I'm going to hit W to go to the move tool, and I'm going to move this object to the origin. And then I, I can just uh, move this up in the Z axis. I can just type in 75 uh, in here. And this will be the height uh, of our table. Of course, be careful that this is the uh, bottom height. So if you want to uh, make the whole height 75, then you should, I guess, uh, decrease the this value with the height value. So if we type in 72 in here, uh, the top of the from the top of the table to the ground will be 75 centimeters. Let's keep it that way. It doesn't really matter right now. This is just a simple uh, exercise. But for now, let's keep it like this. Okay, let's try a new box. And I want to move this one to the origin as well. Uh, I want to make this or turn this to uh, the feet of the table. So let's just change the dimensions to 30 by 30 and the height is five. Okay, maybe it's a, let's make it a little bit uh, lower. Uh, let's make it three or even two. Okay. Uh, so we want to put a leg, but before that, I want to create another box, create a copy of this. To do that, I'm going to just hold shift and drag this upwards. I'm going to keep uh, this option in copy because I want to change the dimensions of this and I, want, I don't want the original box to be affected. So let's leave it like that and change the values to 15 by 15, even 20 by 20. Maybe it's a little better. And let's change the height to one. And I want to change the Z value, Z height of this box to three as well, or two, so that it should sit on top of this one in here. If you don't know these values, uh, I'm going to show you in the next lesson, I'm going to show you a command called align. It will be much easier to type in here uh, the height or anything. We could just easily align this box to this box, but we'll talk about it in the next lesson. Okay, let's create another copy. I'm again holding shift and leaving the uh, option in copy. Uh, let's make the thickness of this or length and width of this to uh, change these values to five. And let's change the height to... Now we need to do some calculations in here because right now we put the table to 72 uh, in the z-axis, uh, but we have two in here, one in here. So we need to decrease that value by three. So let's type in uh, 69 in here. And I want to change the Z height to three. And this should sit perfectly. I guess it does. Uh, but if we uh, made an error, then we could see it in here. Let's hit F and check this. Yeah, seems okay. Okay, uh, I guess this is it uh, for the table right now. Uh, let's leave it like this. Now, uh, what I want you to do is to change, when you model something, I recommend you to ch set the colors of the uh, rough colors of the model. Uh, you can just select the objects and just change the color in here. And also you can just hit M and assign uh, materials to that, uh, those, these as well. But we are far away from material editor and uh, everything. We are just starting to 3ds Max. So let's use this color node in here. So uh, I want to uh, change the color of the top uh, portion to uh, a brownish color. Let's select it from here. Okay, and if you hit add color, then the, your color, your selected color will come in here and you can just hit OK and set this to that color. And let's change these objects color to gray. Uh, let's leave it like this. I do this because uh, you are always, when you model something, you're always uh, seeing it with your eye and you want to uh, edit uh, stuff. You want to change some values. So, but I recommend you to keep the color of the objects as realistic as possible. Uh, of course, it's not realistic, but as close to uh, real as possible because it affects the volume. If it affects how you see the objects. Uh, so I recommend always to you to do this. And also with this, I want to uh, actually reduce these dimensions a little bit. 
because it doesn't uh, seem solid to me. Let's just make this 80 by 80, for example. And this looks more balanced. Maybe even we could just make this a little bit thicker, but for now I'm going to leave it. Okay. This way you can understand the uh, final shape, the final volume a little bit better in my opinion. Okay. So let's model the chair now. I'm going to create a box for this one as well. Uh, let's create this. And I want to make this 40 by 40. And let's change the height to four. This will be the uh, sitting plate of the chair. Uh, let's change the dimensions uh, or move this object to the origin. And then you can just pull it in the Y axis. You can input some values in here as well. Let's input minus 80, for example. Uh, I want to change the height to 46 or 45. I don't know. I, I guess I want to just put the top part of this to 50, maybe even a little bit lower. Uh, let's change this to 44. Okay. And uh, again, you can change the uh, value from here, uh, the Y value from here as well. Okay, let's go to the top view and create the legs for this. I'm going to create a box. And I'm going to just change the uh, thickness of this to four by four and the height to, actually, I wanna steal it from here, it's 44. Okay, now let's go back to the top view. Now we can, we can move this here, uh, eyeball this like this. Uh, actually in this example, it's not that bad to do this, but I'm going to uh, show you how to do this with snap anyways, uh, because we want to exercise that. If I was doing this uh, for real, if I was doing this for a pro project, then I would leave it like this. I wouldn't use snap because I really like these um, edges in here and it shows in the render, trust me. So it, it looks more realistic, but for now let's use snap as I told you, because I want to exercise that. I'll hit S for this. I right click on the snap options and let's enable the vertex snap. And I'm going to just uh, grab the box from this corner in here and put it uh, right on that corner. And I can do this while copying as well. I can just hold shift and just drag this out, put it, place it in that corner in here. Uh, what we need to be careful about in here is that even we see the snap shape in here, we always want to uh, make sure that our cursor has changed to a move uh, cursor, right? So I'm going to hold shift and just drag this to the other corner in here. And I'll hit OK. This time we could copy them as instances because they will always stay the, in the same shape, uh, but you can just leave it in copy as well. Or let's just do this again, maybe a good exercise. Let's uh, delete three, three of these and this time I'm going to hold shift, uh, uh, copy this again and keep the option in instance this time. And let's do the same thing in here as well. And also what I want to do, I want to just select these two. And this time I'm going to just grab them from the bottom corner and I'm going to just copy them upwards. This time I'm going to leave them as copy because uh, I can change the uh, back dimension a little bit. Uh, Okay, I can hit, uh, actually let's leave it, leave the snap open, uh, enabled for now. And uh, let's add some details to this object. I'm going to just select these objects and hit Alt Q. This, this is the shortcut for uh, isolate. You can do the same thing from here as well. You can just click this to unisolate or just click this to isolate the objects. I'm always using Alt Q by the way. Now let's uh, draw a new box. And uh, this time I'm going to use snaps while drawing and uh, not moving. You can see that I can just grab to this corner and when I pull my mouse to the other corner, the box will snap to those corners. And this is very cool. You can pull down to give the height a uh, negative value. And now we can even go further with this. And I'll, I also want to uh, change the length or the thickness of this box, because again, I want to see these edges in the render. It will be better. Uh, we're not going to render this, but I'm thinking that, uh, I'm assuming that while modeling, I'm always going to render <laughs> the object because this is why we model in 3ds Max, I guess. Okay, I'm going to just uh, hold shift and pull this down and let's change the height and the thickness values. 
uh, keep uh, this verified uh, keep these objects uh, varied like uh, different shapes different uh, volumes to keep it a little bit uh, more interesting I guess and also maybe add some extra planks in here for support because it doesn't look very solid to me or maybe you could just add some triangle shaped supports uh, in here uh, in these corners as well but for now let's just do stick with the box shape because uh, we need to learn editable poly a little bit to do the uh, other shapes uh, for now let's click on the box hit s for snap and just drag from this corner to this corner and just set the height let's make this a little bit thinner and the height let's uh, make the height a little bit lower and pull this up and you can do the uh, you can just copy this to the other side as well um or we could do the oh, actually let me show a different method for you to make a symmetry of this or mirror of this you can use this axis in here uh let's see our x axis dimension yeah, it's minus 18 if i hold shift and copy this uh, select the instance option and just type in 80 18 in here then you will see that it will be symmetrical because uh, the X, we know that this axis in here is in the middle the y axis okay maybe these legs are a little bit too long it, it looks a little bit off to me the shape so let's make these a little bit lower like 42 and uh, let's move these minus 2 in the z axis to do that by the way you need to select multiple objects just click on this uh, option in here this is the offset mode as you remember then I can just go to Z axis and uh, type in minus two. This way, everything will uh, move two centimeters downwards. Let's make it even a little bit lower. I'm going to drop these down two more centimeters. Guess this looks a little bit more solid. Uh, you could again do different shapes, different things. Uh, let's select all these and set the colors. I'm going to choose brown color for these uh, uh, portions and I'm going to choose a beige like color uh, for the rest. Okay, and let's end isolate. And the next thing I want you to do is to group the objects. If you select the table, go to group, group. And name it table and also just let's select the chair and go to group group and name this chair uh, this way when you click on the objects it will uh, the name will be table and also you will be able to select all the all the parts of the table uh, with just one click that's very um, handy and I really recommend you to do this and also if you go to the scene explorer we have learned this from the selection uh, lessons you will be able to see the name of the objects, actual name of the objects. And you can again, select objects with one click from here. And this is very valuable and it will save you a lot of time. So I really recommend you to do this. What I want, you, want to do next is I wanna copy this chair around the table. To do that, I'm going to just select the uh, chair. Uh, by the way, before we do that, uh, I'm, go I'm trying to keep the modeling to a minimum because I know that we are all beginners in here. Actually, you are all beginners in here and you want to just do a simple exercise. You want to be able to follow it. But I'm adding these layers because I really want you to do something that you respect. This is not something, this is a little bit Lego-like, right? Right? It's not very realistic. So let's try to add a little bit more value to this, a little bit more uh, beauty to this. I'm pushing you a little bit, but uh, when you do it, you will feel much better. This is very important. Uh, I'm not going to do that much, by the way, this uh, in this uh, example. I'm just adding, uh, I'll just add some chamfers. And uh, I know we are new to this theory in here, cha the chamfer, we have never used it before. But what chamfer does is it chamfers or fillets the edges of the objects. And it, they will look much more realistic. They will look uh, much more beautiful, in my opinion. So let's select the table, go to the modifier list and type in chamfer. You will find it in here. And right away, you can see that it's uh, the dimensions are not set uh, very well, but right away, you can see this, the table looks a little bit better, right? Uh, of course, we have some weird things going on in here, but I'm going to tell you how to fix these. 
Now the amount is a little bit too much. Uh, the height for this was one centimeter and the amount is one centimeter. It's not ideal. Uh, it will, uh, the fillets will overlap this way. So I'm going to just drop this down a little bit. Let's uh, set this to 0.1. Uh, but even with 0.1, even with a small value like this, you can see that we have some new edges introduced to the, or the corners, we, the corners are a little bit more visible, let's say. And this will emphasize the shape of the object. And you can see that it looks much cooler uh, in here, right? So uh, let's change some more values. Let's change the segments to two. I guess that's it. Yeah. For now, let's leave it like this. But you can see that we have a much cooler looking table right now. So let's do the same thing uh, to the uh, chair. I'm going to just select the table, right click, copy. You can copy these uh, modifiers, by the way. It's very cool. You can select the chair and right click, paste instance. This way, when you change something from the original chamfer, the chair chamfer will also change. Okay, you can see that it looks a little bit more rounded. It looks a little bit, uh, just a little bit better, but I, I think you will respect this a little bit more. So uh, try to use these. But also if you add this, uh, you won't be able to use the corner snaps because that now there are a lot of vertices in here, uh, but you can always go ahead and hide this, move something and just re-unhide uh, re it uh, again. Okay, this, is, this way uh, it, it is very useful. So let's go to the hierarchy mode. Uh, now we have seen this with rotate uh, the, in the rotate uh, lesson. So I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going. I want to create uh, four copies uh, or three copies from this chair and just spread them around the table. Uh, to do that precisely, uh, I'm going to enable the effect pivot only. I'm going to move the pivot to. Let's uh, take this back to the absolute world. I'm going to move the y-axis of the pivot to the origin or the zero and I will disable it and then go to the modify tab, hit E for rotate. Uh, there's a weird bug in here. Okay. Hit E for rotate and hit A for the angle snaps. Then I'm going to hold shift and just copy this 90 degrees. Then I'm going to just create three copies and you can see that we have three copies around the table. Maybe it's a little bit too close to the table. I will work that out. Uh, let's hit Ctrl Z. Uh, move this object five centimeters or minus 10 centimeters, for example. And I'm going to just move the pivot back to the origin and uh, do the copying thing again. And now we have this group of chairs with uh, our table and you can again select all these and go to group group and I can just call this table chair group and now all these are one uh, selectable object it's not one object but it's you can select them with one click that's what I mean and here is the name in the scene explorer and we can again for example copy this from here, <laughs> let's create a cheap marriage salon, I guess. Okay, you can create ma as many copies as you want from uh, this object. Okay, let's <laughs> take this back. It looks a little bit bad. Let's just create four, four of these, I guess. <laughs> Okay. hope you enjoyed this and you were able to follow it uh, if you like this please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the activate the notification bell next to the subscribe button and also you can support us to keep the channel uh, free you can support us uh, in patreon you will find all the links in the description uh, thanks for listening see you in the next lesson